Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe from Excel by Joe. Uh, in today's video, what I'm going to do is I've got um, the MLB, the baseball game logs from last year. And I'm going to start, I'm going to start making some videos uh, with kind of analyzing the game logs. And uh, in this video, I'm going to take the game logs and uh, show you using it with formulas how to calculate what their, uh, like their average fantasy points per game were over the last seven days. And then get uh, like a, a year to date, like a running total of their their fantasy points, and then kind of compare the two to see if uh, like they've been hot, like if they've been scoring more points over the last seven days than they normally do, or less points, and find it, finish it off by uh, kind of doing a little back testing and see like if a player who's doing hot scores higher than their average and so on. So let's get this started. Uh, actually, before I do, just uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And um, check out the links below. i got a lot of products down there. Uh, some video course at SpreadsheetSchoolDFS.com and a bunch of uh, lineup building tools. Um, so check those out. So let's get this going here. So we got all the games here. Um, the dates, the player's name, we got the teams, road or home, which is not going to make a difference for what we're doing here. And the main thing is just uh, DraftKings points. So first thing we want to do is let's just get their running average to start it off. That's just what what their uh, here average fantasy points. That's fine. Uh, but we want to get the points up. Like say here's ten twenty seven. We don't want to include the fan, like this date. So we're, what we're gonna do we're gonna do equals average ifs parentheses. So what's the average range? Is is the the DK points? And criteria range one is the player's name, and the criteria is this. So we're going to look through this whole column and all the ones that's G Man Choi. And then the criteria range two is this date, and we want, comma, the criteria is everything before this date. So it will be quote, less than quote, and this. So we don't want to include it. So now we press enter, and it's five fantasy points per game. Now I'm going to double click, and it'll drag it down. But however you copy and paste down, um, we'll do the trick for you. You can just right click and do copy paste, and see it's, it's calculating because there's a lot of data here. And let's actually let's just format these here to one decimal. So we've got here's all the players' average running running total up to today. Now let's get their average over the last seven. So it's going to be a very similar formula. So we can copy this. I'm going to just copy this formula and go in here and paste it in. See how it says the same amount. Now we got to add another criteria. So we've got the player's name being picked. We've got to before today's date. We want to make a third one with this date and we want it to be quote greater than and this date minus seven and we press enter there so now in his last seven days what um how many fantasy points do we get so i'm going to double click again and it's going to copy it and it's going to take a few seconds because it's got to calculate and uh it's got to look at everything and so it doesn't even matter if these are sorted in order or however they're sorted this will still do every everything for you so okay so we have our formulas and let's just test this quick but before we do what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight all our formulas and do copy and then right over it i'm going to do paste special values because i want to get rid of all these formulas because every time you run it it's going to recalculate the formulas and it's just going to go super slow so we don't need the formulas in there anymore if you want you can leave the formula in the top row so you still have it but i'm not going to do that now so let's check uh, Yandy Diaz, he had 5.9 average and 7.3 over the last seven. So now if I do Yandy, there. So his average points before that game was 5.89, which rounds to 5.9. So that worked. And let's see over the last seven days, which would be 1, 2, 3. And there it is, average is 7.33, which is 7.3. So we know our formulas worked, so we're good there. 
Now our next next thing we want to do is we want to take the um, compare the L7 over the running average or the just the regular average. So we can say this divided by this number. So it's 61, and I'm going to just make it a percentage. So then when I copy this down, what this is pretty much saying is, like, here, this guy scored 13 points over the last seven. He averaged over the last seven games, but well, normally he averages 10 points. So he's averaging 125% of his normal points per game. So that's means he's, he's kind of hot. That means he's been playing here, same here, Brandon Lowe. He's been averaging 12 points over his last seven, but he normally averages 7.5, so 160%. So he's been doing pretty good. So this column will tell us how they've been doing good. Like this player has not been doing good. And over the last seven, he's only averaging three points every game, but Chow is nor normally averages five. So it's kind of just a little indicator to tell like how they've been playing uh, and how they, I mean, if they've been doing good or not. And then what we want to do is we're going to run a check for just for today's games. So let's see. All it's going to be is what they actually scored over their average. So they scored two points, but they averaged 5.3. So they only got 38% of what their average points are per the, per, per the game. So what we can do, so now we, we figured out, how, learned how to go to running average, how to average the last seven, how to compare the two to, um, to show how they've done over the last seven compared to their average. Now here's their today's game. Now let's just do a little back test. See, maybe we won't even find anything for a back test or not, but let's kind of see what we want to do is first we want to only look at players who average a certain number of points. Because if they're not averaging many points, we don't want to look at them. So say if they're you gotta be averaging at least three points per game, or I'll say four points per game. So that, that reduced us from eighteen thousand from twenty eight thousand to eighteen thousand lines. So that's good. Now, over the last seven, we want only the players that are doing hot. So what we want to do is see so it goes all the way up to six hundred percent. Let's look at all the players who are greater than 200%. So all we need to do is put a 2 because this is in percent. So the 625 players that at some point, like see, look here, like Edwin Rios over the last seven was, was averaging 16 points per game. Uh, however, he normally averages 6. So these players are, are doing well. Let's see how that translates to the today's game. Now we've got... We're going to check their points against to compared to today, and if I highlight the whole thing, let me first make it just put it into a comma so we can read it a little better. Here, the average is 1.07. Uh, what this pretty much means, or if we, I'll put it back to percentage. Here, the average is 107 percent. So that pretty much means. They these players when they when they over the last seven when they've scored two hundred percent of their average which is like twice as much as what they average normally average to score they score one hundred seven percent which is seven percent higher than what they normally would see if we to total up all the total points here the sum is four thousand two hundred twenty one but the actual points were about forty four hundred. So that's a 7% higher. So that means if you're looking at how a player has done over the last seven days, if they're doing really good, like twice as good as average, you can expect on average the player to score 7% higher. And that's uh, just a one quick little back test. We can, there's more, you can add more criteria into it, home and, home and away. Um, uh, if they played many games, maybe we have to even narrow this down because their, their last seven might only be the effect of one game. We might want to have a minimum of two or three games, but that's just the basics of testing out using formulas to figure out how they've done in the last seven and kind of doing a little back, intro to back testing. So uh, I'll have um, a portion of this uh, game log for you to download. I can't put the whole thing because, um, but because this is I don't own this. This is I just bought this. So if you do want to buy 
the, the, the 2020 baseball game logs. Um, you can check out um, bigdataball.com. Uh, we do, I do sell other game logs, but I don't sell the baseball ones. I have football, hockey, and uh, basketball. So um, that's it. Make sure you uh, give us a thumbs up. Check out all the links below for my spreadsheet school uh, for, for DFS at spreadsheetschooldfs.com and optimizelineups.com to check out all my uh, lineup building tools and simulation tools. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.